Hey everyone, I just purchased a Bible the other day that I wanted to show you and recommend to you. Uh, it's the NKJV Thinline Bible Youth Edition. Now even though it says Youth Edition on the cover, uh, when you get into this Bible you'll see it's really a Bible for anybody. Uh, but it is clear and readable, Thomas Nelson NKJV Comfort Print, Words of Christ in Red, Two Satin Ribbons, and this one is in the brown leather soft. If you need the ISBN number, uh, there it is right there. And I will also try to leave a link uh, to uh, this Bible so you can purchase it if you're interested. So I just wanted to quickly show you some features of this Bible. Uh, it is a synthetic cover which actually is nice because it allows you to uh, take it anywhere and you don't have to worry about it getting messed up. It, this is a really good Bible for transport. And uh, the tooled engravings on the side of the Bible here look really nice. You've got the ribs and uh, the NKJV logo, the Thomas Nelson logo, Holy Bible. This is really cool though. This is a a lion on the front of the cover here. I think that looks really awesome and uh, r really conveys something awesome uh, in relation to what's in the Bible, uh, which is talking, of course, about Christ, who is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And then uh, when you look at some of the other things on the outside here, it is uh, gold gilted on the edges. It's kind of a... Um, kind of a matte color. It's not really shiny, but it's not sticky. Like when you get some of those Bibles that are not necessarily the most expensive, the pages stick a lot, and I didn't notice that happening on this. Uh, the ribbons, though, are really impressive. And they have a brown ribbon here and a blue one. For a, this is $20 or less Bible, you get two nice ribbons. And then when you get into the Bible here, there's a simple presentation page. And I like how streamlined this Bible is. There's not a lot to it, but again, that's great. If you just want to read the Bible and have something to take with you, this is perfect for that. Title page, table of contents. Then when you get into the Bible here, they do have a preface that is a condensed preface. I'm not sure if that's only here in the youth edition or if they're doing that in, in any of their other Bibles, but... Uh, the original King, New King James preface uh, is quite a bit longer, but that is just a one-page preface synopsis to tell you a little bit about the New King James Version. Then the Old Testament. I want to show you the layout here. The layout is uh, really nice. It's very clean. It's a line match, so the lines on this side of the page line up with the lines on the other side of the page, so that presents a cleaner look and less bleed-through from the other side of the page. It's paragraph format. The font is com comfort print. It's a nine point font, uh, so it's big enough. Uh, but if you do have eye trouble, it wouldn't be necessarily uh, the best Bible for you. But uh, it has a nice look to it, and I find it to be pretty readable. The only thing uh, that might be hard is if you're using this to teach, the verse numbers are not very big, and they're not very bold. So it can be a little hard to find the verses. And actually on the camera here, it looks pretty good, but I find that if the Bible's far away from you at all, uh, it can be a little hard to see those verses. But if you're just using this to study and read through the Bible, it has just a nice, clean look and a good flow to it. So that's really good. And um, pretty straightforward. The, the headings look really nice. Uh, this is just a good format, in my opinion. Double column really good look to it. And again, the footprint of this Bible, uh, I'll show you some other thin lines, compare them just so you can kind of see, but I think it has a really good size to it. And uh, the New Testament is red letter edition. So the words of Christ are in red. And then when we get to the back of the Bible, I just wanted to quickly show you some of the things in the back. Really cool. Again, this is called a youth edition, but the, there's nothing indicated in the Bible itself uh, that makes it particularly only usable for youth, uh, other than maybe, you know, the, the uh, headings here look a little bit more contemporary or youthful, I guess, but I think they're great for any age. And this gives you an introduction to how you can have a relationship with God 
talking about the gospel, the good news of Jesus. And then it actually goes after this little introduction, it goes into the steps to uh, salvation. And the, the, the first step here, realize that everyone needs to be saved. No one is righteous. It gives a verse that goes with that, a couple verses. Second step, understand that there is hope in Christ. Salvation does not come by keeping laws or being good or doing good works, but only through, G only through faith in Christ. And again, some more verses on that theme. Uh, then the third step here, uh, know that God forgives and accepts unconditionally anyone who believes in Christ. Romans 8, 1 and 2, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. And finally, trust, in, trust Christ in your heart and confess Him as Lord with your mouth. And uh, Romans 10, 9 and 10 is the reference there. If you confess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. And so it's encouraging you here to confess with your mouth. And, uh, and, and it says you can repeat this prayer or something similar. What you mean is what matters, not the exact words that you say. So it's that idea of believing in your heart. And they give you a sample prayer to pray. Then some other verses. So this is really good if you are maybe just coming to faith in Christ or you're new to faith in Christ. There's some good helps in here. Or if you want to give this to someone that you're sharing the gospel with. And it says uh, you may be wondering what kind of practical steps you might take to guide you as you discover your personal faith path toward knowing God, consider some of these ideas, and here's some really good ideas for growing in your faith. So some great helps back here, uh, just simple, straightforward, but really helpful. Here's a visual survey of the Bible. I love this because uh, it just gives you kind of the whole overview of the Bible in a snapshot. This might actually be adapted uh, from a chart in the Open Bible. Uh, someone in the comments might be able to tell me if that's true. But here's the Old Testament on this side, historical, poetic, prophetic books. And this side, this part of the chart tells about the uh, Old Testament. And then here's the New Testament, which are the Gospels, Acts, the Book of Acts, and the Epistles, the Letters. And this side of the chart tells about the New Testament. And then on the bottom here, you have a historical timeline of events and people throughout history that are that are actually in the Bible, and then the books of the Bible that go with those people and events in history, all the way through to the New Testament, the life of Christ, and the birth and growth of the church, all the way to the, to the end of the age. So great helps there. And then, of course, there's some maps. This first map is a, the world of the patriarchs, which is actually right here. The Middle East, as it's known today, and uh, the land of the 12 tribes. This is more zoomed in on Israel specifically during the time of the, the 12 tribes in the Old Testament. And then you've got Jesus' ministry. Really nice map outlining places that Jesus went and things that he did. So the only thing missing is uh, there's no map on the missionary journeys of Paul, which a lot of Bibles have and would be, I think would have been really good to have. But kind of in summary, this Bible is really portable and um, uh, quite well made. And uh, if, if you don't have too much problem with, with uh, a little bit smaller print, this is definitely uh, readable enough. Now let me just show you in comparison to some other thin lines. This is actually a Thomas Nelson thin line from 2005 that my wife got me and this has a nice leather cover to it but I wanted to show you you know kind of the differences that have taken place like I said this has a longer uh, preface for the New King James you know it's this is several pages long whereas the youth edition that I was showing you here has a very short preface and then the formatting here is a little bit more uh, of a kind of a traditional format where you actually have the verse by verse formatting and uh, it's also a little bit more bunched up together, and it's not line matched. So it doesn't have as clean of a look, whereas uh, I think this one here really has a clean look to it, which is nice. Uh, but that being said, there's advantages to both. The, the verse-by-verse -verse format 
is something that a lot of people like because you can quickly see uh, where the verses are in the Bible. Um, the maps in the back too uh, are a little bit more extensive, but I would say in comparison, and here's Paul's missionary journeys, I would say in comparison to this, this Bible, these maps uh, just have a nicer uh, look to them. So that's just a quick comparison uh, of an older Bible. Uh, and, and so it, 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 it's just different. It's, it's kind of, of a more modern version, uh, but still really similar. So I thought that was neat just to kind of compare something from about 14 years ago. And then one other quick uh, thin line that I'll show you here is the ESV thin line large print. And you can see that they managed to actually, in the same footprint, get a larger font. And some of that has to do with, I think the ESV font is like a taller font. Whereas the New King James Comfort Print is a wider font, but also this is marketed as a large print thin line, whereas the Youth Edition is not. So this is a 9 point, and I think this ESV is a 10 point, so it does make a difference. However, uh, one difference and really an advantage of the NKJV is that there's actually more space for writing notes. Uh, so that smaller font actually has some advantages too. They had to take up more space with the printing here, less space to uh, write if you want to write in this Bible. So I would say the Youth Edition that I'm showing you is really better for writing notes than the ESV large print. So those are just some quick comparisons. Uh, every Bible has its advantages and, and things that are unique and nice about it. But again, for carrying around, bringing with you anywhere you want to go, this is going to go in my backpack. And not only to have with me so that I can read or teach, but certainly if I have the opportunity to give this to someone, someone who is uh, new to Christ or, or just coming to faith in Christ, like I said, with the helps in this Bible, I would gladly give this away to someone who needs it. So I highly recommend this Bible. It is the NKJV Thin Line Bible Youth Edition. However, not only for youth, it's good for any age. Thank you so much for watching A First Perspective.